Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video, and today I am going to give you my sniping tips with an initial focus upon the mechanics of something that isn't really touched upon very much in Battlefield 1, that being quickscoping, or perhaps to be more accurate, close quarters ultra aggressive sniping. From there I'll talk about drag scopes, no scopes, and more conventional mid to long range sniping. So you're going to be seeing clips of all kinds of kills including the aforementioned quickscopes, but also featuring other techniques over a range of different distances. Now this is sniping with a scope. I know on console at least, it's far easier to use an infantry scout weapon in 95% of situations, especially at close quarters, due to the very strong auto rotation and aim assist which you don't get when using a conventional sniper scope. But there's a certain art and satisfaction involved in using an actual scoped sniper and it can allow you to hit some truly beautiful clips. Plus, if you manage to get a good level of ability, you'll have the added consistent long range ability that isn't included when using an infantry variant. So before we get into how to pull off some of the shots you're seeing in this video, let's cover which sniper I use and why I think it's a good choice for you to pick to try to play with this aggressive and versatile manner. All the clips you've seen and will see are using the Russian 1895 sniper. Now again, this is my personal choice. I really like how light and snappy it feels. It's fast reload, rate of fire, bullet velocity and reasonably decent range sweet spot to go with it. Now this is my personal preference once again, this doesn't mean it's the ultimate best choice for everyone. The SMLE MK3 and the Labelle model 1886 both have closer range sweet spots, so you may want to try those out as well and decide which one suits you best for this playstyle. I choose the Russian because I like having the added range lethality and that fast bullet velocity. As a side note, I didn't include the Gewehr M95 in the discussion due to its lack of a sweet spot, and I also didn't include the Martini Henry sniper as, having used and reviewed it, it definitely isn't a viable option for reliable quickscoping and general aggressive and or versatile play. So with that out of the way, let's get to the technique portion of this guide. What is quickscoping and how to do it? Well, quickscoping is a general coverall term for scoping in on a target and taking them out quickly. Some consider it to be getting killed by scoping, but without the scope actually focusing in on the target. Others consider it to be very quickly taking the shot after the scope has appeared. Either is fine with me, all I'm bothered about is getting the kill. Because in my opinion, quickscoping is something that you should realistically only be doing either when necessary, or if it just comes naturally to you in certain situations. The lack of aim assist means that the actual mechanics of quickscoping don't work as they do in say some Call of Duty titles, Destiny and a few other FPS games. It's very possible to do in Battlefield 1, but it shouldn't necessarily be your go-to technique, hence why I'll be covering different techniques in this video afterwards. But if you want to add this ability to your skill set, then you may be wondering what the big secret is and how to do it. Well the big secret is that there is no big secret. There is no hidden piece of code for you to take advantage of. You have to build up the ability, and if you ask me, the best way to build up the ability to quickscope or really build up any ability is slowly. Yes, learn to quickscope slowly. It's confusing, right? But several studies show that learning to do something slowly helps you to develop the ability at a faster rate. Don't rush. So as you get used to sniping, you can start to bring in the distance and start to increase the rate at which you can acquire the target naturally. Don't rush into a room on your first attempt and start blowing holes in the walls while the enemy calmly shoots you in your stupid overzealous face. Take your time and focus on these tips. Keep your crosshair, i.e. the centre of your screen, or where your gun will point when you aim, positioned to where the enemy will be. So high chest to head level is a good idea in a direction where the enemy are likely to be at. So point at the corner you're about to hit, or point at head level over that cover. You get the idea. Because the less adjusting you have to do when you scope in, the more likely you are to hit the target and the faster you'll get the kill. So try to line up your crosshair with the target before you scope in, whenever possible. From here you have to just learn. Don't be afraid to take the shot. You will miss some. In fact, you'll miss a lot. It's normal. If you take four shots and get one kill, that's still one more kill than if you hadn't taken a shot at all. Don't worry if you suck at it. Practice improves things. You aren't supposed to be fantastic when you first try to do something. So keep working on your shot. Build up that muscle memory and learn to trust it, eventually it will become second nature. To give yourself an easier time up close, get used to using the spotting flare. You desperately need any advantage you can get using a sniper at close quarters. So being able to see where the enemy are can help you to get that little lead that you need in order to get the kill. Also a quick reaction to pull out a pistol to finish someone off will be useful. Just try not to be over reliant on it at close range, because the more you use the sniper the better you'll be with it. Be sensible and just use the sidearm when necessary. Also, a melee finish after landing a body shot can be very effective. Shoot and then instantly hit melee to start the animation and automatically get the kill. 
The no scope is often a last ditch attempt at taking an enemy down before they kill you, or if you just feel like being a bit flashy. At close range you can essentially barrel stuff the enemy and make sure you connect with the shot. Are they taking up a good deal of the centre of your screen? Then you'll likely hit them. Once again crosshair placement and that focus on the centre of your screen can make this much easier and will again become second nature over time. Additionally resting a sniper down that has a bipod vastly increases your hipfire accuracy and makes picking up a no scope far easier. Okay now next up we have drag scopes. You won't aim directly in on the target every time you scope, it's just not possible. So getting used to your sensitivity means you'll be able to learn to quickly drag your scope to the target and pull the trigger at the right time. Once again this is a muscle memory thing, it might take a while but it's a very valuable ability. So what of more conventional mid to long range sniping? Well my big tip would be movement, move a lot, change your angle, slide, zigzag, whatever you can do to be evasive. I have to move side to side on the spot when I'm looking around. Otherwise, I try to make sure I'm near cover in case I need to use it. One of the key reasons I'm killing these people and not dying is that I move around. I trust myself to be able to acquire the target quickly enough to kill them before they kill me, while I make myself harder to hit by moving. So move before each shot and after each shot whenever necessary. You can also bait out a sniper with this moving around tactic. Sometimes I'll actually look in the direction where I think a sniper is and move around erratically in the hope that they'll take a shot and miss. They often do and I now know where they are and can attempt to take them out. And for the love of god please don't make a habit of lying down without cover. It's so damn easy to kill you. Now of course if you're pretty safe where you are and have time then take the extra time to line up the target and make sure you hit them. Otherwise a missed shot might alert them to your presence and cause them to move. Get used to your bullet velocity and how much you need to lead your shots on moving targets. The actual bullet drop in Battlefield 1 isn't particularly strong, so anywhere before extreme long range doesn't really require much upwards correction. Just aim for or ever so slightly above the head. At super extreme ranges, you're once again going to have to just learn how far above the head you need to aim, and I'm really not the right person to talk to about that, as I'm not a huge fan of that sniping style. I find it a little too passive, but obviously though, these super extreme longer ranges call for a different weapon choice for maximum efficiency. Something like the Gewehr 98 or the M1903 would be a good choice for you. So that is my complete rundown on sniping in Battlefield 1. I hope you find it helpful. If so, then let me know in the comments section below and also leave any tips in there that I might have missed. If you enjoyed the video, then feel free to like, favourite and subscribe. I'm GetGoodGuy and I'll see you next time. Laters.